Uh, let me ask you, Billy. You know, you thought you had added one superstar. You've added two. The pressure sort of goes to you to figure out how to use these guys. What What have you done, and what are your immediate thoughts about how you how you incorporate Carmelo? Well, you know, I I, I still think that with this happening so close to you know the first day of training camp you still have to do things as a team to be successful um, on both ends of the floor, both offensively and defensively. Um, obviously, Carmelo is a great scorer. Um, he's done it for a really, really long period of time. Um, I had a chance to spend some time with him yesterday. Um, really enjoyed you know, being around him. But for us, it's going to be that process of you know, coming together as a team because you, we obviously have a lot of new players, a lot of different players that have never played with each other. And that process beginning tomorrow to understand that this will be a journey that we'll have to go on together as a group to try to continually improve and get better and, and, and become hopefully as close as we possibly can to, to our ability. Uh, Billy, how much of um, the talent how much is, is it going to be these guys understanding just because they've all been lead role guys? I mean, is it much a mentality thing as just an X and O deal, how they have to work together? Well, I, again, I think that's, that's the case on any team if you want to be successful. Like, there are certain things that, you know, I just consider the rules of basketball that you have to do, you know, to be a, a good basketball team on, on both ends of the floor. And, uh, you know, these guys have been in the league for a long period of time. They've had a lot of... Uh, individual success they've had team success in different situations so again I think for me like the opportunity that we have is the opportunity that we get a chance to go to work every day and improve get better um, and and try to figure out you know how we can be the best version of ourselves um, you know and again we'll have to do it collectively as a group I mean uh, certainly Russell and Paul and Carmelo um, there's a lot of excitement around them, and rightfully so. But, you know, Stephen Adams, Andre Robertson, you know, Jeremy Grant, Raymond Felton, like we got to be a team, and it's got to be all of us collectively as a team. And I think that's where the focus is right now going forward. Billy, sorry to turn it back to the trio, but um, do, do you have a hunch even as to how Russ, Paul, and, and Carmelo can enhance one another's games? Well, I think that's it right there. You know, how, 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 how do we as a team and as a group of players uh, make each other better? And I think to, you know, expect Russell, Paul, and Carmelo uh, or anybody else on our team, whether it be Patrick Patterson being new and Raymond Felton being new, that they're going to hit the ground tomorrow running and it's just going to be this cohesive unit that's played together for five years that just hasn't skipped a beat. That's the challenging part. That's the exciting part, you know, when you – start with the building of a team uh, once training camp starts is those are the things that we're going to have to work through and get better at. And I think we've got a group of guys that are really good guys that are going to want to do that. To, to, I think they understand the things that you, know, you have to do to be a good team. So um, those, are, those are areas that we'll have to work through and, and get better at. Billy, Sam was interesting that you kind of view Carmelo as a little underrated as a passer. I wonder if you could just speak to what what you see as his strengths, where on the floor you, you think he might be best suited? Is he a, is he a power forward and, and what he might be able to bring to wherever he is? Yeah, you know, I think with a guy like Carmelo and certain players, they're almost positionless players when it comes to from an offensive standpoint because of their ability to do so many different things offensively. Um, you know, I you know, found it very interesting a couple of years ago even seeing him a little bit, you know, with Team USA and, and how he played there and different situations he was in there and the way he played the game. You know, Carmelo, you know, even the last two years playing against the Knicks in, in watching film, like he's really a smart player. He knows how to play. I think he's got a good feel of how to play. Um, I do think he sees the floor. Um, I do think he has very, very good vision. Um, and I think he put that on display, you know, uh, with Team USA at points, at, at points in time. So um, I do think he is – because of his ability to score, I think there's sometimes with players like that, they, they may miss out on seeing a lot of other things that they're capable of doing. Billy, uh, you, you guys had to part with Ennis Cantor in order to get this deal done, and, and Ennis was such a big part of the, the rebounding dominance that you all have had for the past two or three years. Uh, does losing a guy like that and gaining a guy in Carmelo Anthony, does it 
force you to kind of shift your identity as a team and, and, and play more of those small ball lineups? Yeah, I mean, listen, the, 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 I think the game's changed in a lot of different ways, you know, over the years. Um, you know, for me as a coach, I think the hard part sometimes is, you know, being with Ennis for two years and just the kind of person he, 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 he is and um, the impact that he had on our team, um, his sense of humor, his, I think, connection inside the team will be missed. And uh, Ennis was a great guy. He was a great team. He obviously loved being here. Um, and to your point, he, in my opinion, is maybe the best offensive rebounder in the game. Um, and, you know, I think he'll be missed. But as we, I think, look at our team now, um, you know, utilizing different lineups across the front line gives us, you know, some flexibility maybe to do some different things. Um, with Carmelo's situation just happening the other day, um, I think as a coach, you're always trying to figure out ways to maximize the group. Um, you know, I think defensively, you're going to have systems and schemes. Offensively, you're going to have things that you believe in. Uh, but also, I think offensively, you, you want to put guys in positions systematically that is good for them where they're able to take advantage of their strengths and talents. For us, defensively, you know, we're going to have to collectively rebound if we are small at times. Um, and at times, I think we'll have to maybe offensive rebound in some different ways. Also, um, you know, Kevin Durant made some comments on Twitter uh, talking about his time here. He said that, you know, he didn't like playing for you. Uh, he talked about not having teammates good enough to win a championship, talked about the organization. Want to get your thoughts on that. And if there was any you know, conversation between you and Kevin, he said that he reached out to you. Yeah, I mean, I'll just say this, um, is we did communicate. Um, I enjoyed my time with Kevin, and uh, I felt like Kevin and I had a very, very good relationship, you know, and outside of that, I don't think there's really anything more to say, um, but I felt like we had a good relationship when we were together. Coach, yeah. Coach, how important is it to get Carmelo Anthony at this point in his career, after he's accomplished so much, and what does that veteran uh, being at that point in his career do for your locker room? Well, I think he's huge because he has um, an enormous amount of respect around the league, you know, a a as a player um, and, 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 and also as a person. Um, and I think that only enhances and helps your locker room having a guy like that. There's been a lot of reaction, uh, Coach, around the league. We're, okay, hey, sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, around the league to what Donald Trump had to say on Friday, uh, his condemnation of the demonstrations we've seen, ma mainly in the NFL. I just wondered if, if what D Billy Donovan's reaction to that might have been. Yeah, I mean, I think for us here, um, and again, I didn't see all the stuff that happened. Obviously, <laughs> there was a lot going on uh, the last 24 hours here, but um, – you know, we're always going to support our players, you know, right for, for free speech and things that they're, um, you know, pointing out. Um, and, you know, for me personally, I also have great respect for our country as well. And it's certainly during some difficult times with different challenges going on um, as a, a person that has coached for a long period of time and been around a lot of different environments and situations. Um, there are a lot of struggles out there, and there are a lot of people fighting a lot of difficulties. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate because I would like to see our country come closer together rather than being pulled further apart. Billy, when you had Kevin and Russ there together, you, you ended up staggering those two guys, first and second unit. Now you kind of have three guys who are somewhere between very good and excellent, uh, you know, first options on, on a team. What's the best way to – to, do you stagger those three guys? Do you work two in a second unit? What's what's the best way to figure that out throughout the season? Well, I, you know, I've always said this before. Um, when when you do do that, um, there's going to be a level of sacrifice that goes into, you know, a person maybe doing different things because when you stagger like that, there's going to be someone getting rests a lot of times twice per half, which could be a little bit different. But my main focus uh, for those guys is – First, making sure they're comfortable and feel like they're able to get a good rhythm while they're in there playing. Um, there's no question staggering those guys and putting different combinations, whether it be the two of them out there together or the three of them or one of them, 
you know, that, that, that's something that without question that we'll have to look at and evaluate and figure out what's the best way to go in doing that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.